All right. So in the last class, we discussed linear combination and and before that i mean initially we started with field right those uh, that is what we considered as set of scalars and then a non empty set v having some properties and that is what we call vector space right and we are going to do like vector space or left after talking about vector then we start looking at their uh, subspaces. So the subset bits of the vector space is called subspace. So we define subspace and it is a proper to subspace. Like intersection of two subspaces is a subspace. And union can be a subspace only if one is contained in another. And we observed that subspaces of r to r lines passing through origin or it can be a singleton set zero or the entire set r2 these are the subspaces of r2 and similarly you look at subspaces of r3 those are the lines passing through origin and the planes passing through origin and the entire r3 and zero set so these are the subspaces of r3 okay we can guarantee that other than these subspaces, you cannot have any other subspace for R3. All right. And thereafter, we, uh, we, we have seen what is a linear combination, linear combination of vectors. It is nothing but multiplying vectors with, with constants. Those are scalars. And then you add the resultant elements. That is alpha 1 V1 plus alpha 2 V2 plus and so on, plus alpha n, vn. And this is what we call linear combination. And we observe that set of all linear combinations gives you a vector space. If you consider set of all linear combinations of some vectors, so that is going to create a vector space. And we are going to call uh, such a set as linear span. Linear span is nothing but set of all linear combinations of vectors. And in yesterday class, we have seen if you take two elements in R2, they generated a plane passing through origin. And similarly, we have taken three polynomials in P2, that is polynomials of degree less than or equal to 2. If you see the linear span of those three polynomials, we observed that the linear span is the entire set, that is P2. It means we are able to generate the entire set P2 with the help of three elements. Those three polynomials, namely 1, 1 minus x, 1 plus x squared. So these three polynomials are giving you any element in P2. Every second degree polynomial can be expressed as a linear combination of these three vectors. So that is what it means. Okay, these three vectors are spanning the entire set, entire vector space P2. All right. Now in today's class, let us discuss what is linear dependence and linear independence. Okay. Now here, if I take one element, uh, phi comma six, right? Now the question is, can it be expressed as a linear combination of uh, one comma two and one comma zero? So what is the answer to this question? So to answer, you can do one thing. You just write phi comma six equal to alpha into one comma two plus beta into 1 comma 0 you'll end up with two linear equations that is alpha plus beta equal to 5 and 2 alpha plus 0 into beta equal to 6 i'm adding and comparing component wise so if you solve for it you can see alpha is nothing but 3 from the second equation so substitute alpha here in the first so this implies beta equal to 5 minus 3 which is 2 
So therefore, uh, we can see that, uh, let me name it as V1, and this is V2, and this is V3. So we have seen that this V1, V1 can be expressed as a linear combination of V2 and V3. So that linear combination is nothing but V1 equal to uh, 3 times of V2 plus 2 times of V3. In other words, I'm going to see in this way. Uh, this V1, it depends on these two. What I mean, V1 can be expressed as those two elements. Okay, how can you express? You can express it as a linear combination. So that is why this dependence we call linear dependence. Okay, now I'm going to say that if you take this set, S is equal to V1, V2, V3. Now we say this set is linearly dependent. Why is it linearly dependent? We are able to see one vector which can be expressed as a combination of other two vectors. Okay, and it is also true that V2 can be expressed as a combination of these two, that is V1 and V3. If you ask me how, yeah, you can you can see it from here. So we can write V2 equal to uh, V1 minus 2V3 and divided by 3. So 1 by 3 into V1 minus 2 by 3 into V3. So V2 can be expressed as combination of these two. Similarly, V3 also can be expressed as combination of uh, V1 and V2. Okay, it is not only that one element can be expressed as a combination of others. In this set, every element can be expressed as combination of other elements. Okay, so this is linearly dependent set. Why? Because we are able to express one element as a combination of others. But in every linearly dependent set, it may not happen. It is not needed that every element can be expressed as a combination of others. We say a set is linearly dependent. If you can find some vector which can be expressed as a combination of other vectors in that set. Okay, see, for example, let me take this set S equal to the set is one comma zero, and another one is zero comma one. Now my question is, is S linearly dependent? Is this set linearly dependent? So according to our discussion, we say it is linearly dependent. If you can find one element here, which can be expressed as a combination of others, right? So in this set, anyway, there are only two elements. So there are only two elements in this set, V1, V2. If it is dependent, either V1 can be expressed as combination of V2, that is V1 equal to some alpha into V2, or uh, V2 equal to some beta into V1. One of, one of it should happen if it is dependent. Okay, so let us try to investigate this way. Uh, is it possible to express 1 comma 0 as a multiple of 0 comma 1 that is alpha into 0 comma 1 okay now this side you have 1 0 and on the other side you have 0 comma alpha now you solve for this equation i mean th th this equality so when you solve it you are going to obtain 1 equal to 0 and 0 equal to alpha but you look at the first equation, this is not possible. One cannot be equal to zero. So if you want to express this element as a multiple of other element, it is it is not possible. Why? Because one never be equal to zero. Okay. So therefore, we can conclude that first element cannot be expressed as a multiple of the second element. Similarly, you can see that second element also cannot be expressed as a multiple of first element. 
therefore we can conclude that this set is not linearly dependent okay if you find such a set we call that set is linearly independent so therefore the conclusion here is s is linearly independent i'll give you one more example s equal to this time i'd like to take 1 comma 0 first element and the second element is 0 comma 0 only now is s linearly dependent we are going to write linearly dependence with just ld ld it means linearly dependent so this is linearly dependent yes correct why because you can you can take this one as v1 and v2 right now v1 you cannot write it as a combination of v2 why because you see uh, if you want v1 equal to alpha into v2 so v2 is a zero vector right so alpha into v2 alpha into v2 this this also becomes zero why because alpha times zero comma zero so that is a uh, zero comma zero only take alpha equal to zero because v2 is nothing but a zero vector so zero vector can be written as zero times of any vector. So here you have one comma zero. Okay. Now this becomes zero comma zero. I mean, these two are equal. So therefore the conclusion is S is linearly dependent. Okay. So from this, we can actually make one conclusion. Any set which contains zero vector is linearly dependent. Why? Because zero vector can always be written as combination of any vector because zero, zero equal to zero into any vector, right? So that itself is enough. Therefore, the conclusion is any set. So any set which contains zero vector is linearly dependent. Okay. But so far, I haven't given you the definition, but I explained like how it can be checked whether it is dependent or not. All right. Next, I'll give you one more. Now the set is 1 minus x, 1 plus x square. Now let me assume this is a subset of uh, polynomials of degree less than or equal to 2. Okay. Now my question is, is S linearly dependent or independent? Right. There is an answer from uh, Venkatasai. He is saying it is it is independent. Yeah, correct. This is independent. Why? Because you can't express when you take it as V1 and V2. It is not possible to write V1 as a multiple of V2 for any alpha. Similarly, V2 is not a multiple of uh, V1. Okay. So let me let me explain this. So if you take alpha times 1 minus uh, x, that is equal to 1 plus x square. So this is actually alpha minus alpha x. There is no x square term. So that's why I'm writing 0 into x square. On the other side, what we have 1 plus 0x plus 1 into x square. So we say that two polynomials are equal when they are equal component wise if their coefficients are equal. So here the coefficients are constant term alpha equal to 1 and the next the coefficient of x that is minus alpha equal to 0. How is it possible sir? One time we are saying alpha equal to 1 another time we are saying alpha equal to 0. And if you look at the third, third situation that is 0 equal to 1 it is not possible. It means that there is no alpha for which alpha into v1 equal to v2. So it is very clear that S is linearly independent. Yeah, tell me. Alpha is the constant term. If you question is alpha is a variable constant term. Alpha is a real number. And in alpha place, lo, 1, kaani, 2, kaani, root 2, kaani, a than a real number, you substitute chess coach. And the example key is, uh, okay, to understand this better, let me give one more. S equal to 1 minus x, 
1 plus x square. Now multiply this with 2 and I'll add it to it. So 3 plus 2x square minus x. Now the question is, is this set linearly dependent or independent? But if you observe that this is how I created this set, v1, v2, and this I have taken like v1 plus 2 times of v2. You can check it. But you can think of a problem on that. Depending on that, solve just two problems. Kuda, two, two vectors. This could not. So, e e e. With the man verification, okay, 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 easy. Ne. But like three elements, can you four elements? Can you just not try to just understand? And the head, I can do pretty easy. E render the combination of the right one. The only the only render the combination of the right. And the e three times check check all. Now this three times checking is a headache. If you have, if you have four elements, maybe you need to go for four four times. That's not a good thing, right? So let us try to uh, understand this linear dependence more. Okay. So here, see in this set it is very clear. Uh, three plus two x square minus x can be expressed as uh, one time of one plus one minus x plus 2 times of 1 minus 1 plus x square you can verify that it means when you take this one as v1 v2 and this is v3 i am saying that v3 can be expressed as alpha times v1 plus beta times v2 if you ask me what is this alpha and beta alpha is nothing but 1 and beta is nothing but uh, 2 this is what i can say now let us try to see this. Uh, if I bring all these expressions to one side, is this is what we are getting, right? Alpha into V1 uh, minus, sorry, plus beta into V2 minus, let me write plus of minus 1 into V3 equal to 0. So if I set is linearly dependent, I can write such a linear combination like this and the interesting fact about this linear combination is the linear combination of these vectors is zero but not all coefficients of vis are zero in particular case length and alpha non-zero in the beta non-zero in the like a coefficient of v3 code non-zero in the no issue and you uh, let us move to the previous example in the one comma zero zero comma zero economy observe just a Alanti linear combination name sir 1 into 0, 0, plus 0 into 1, 0 equal to 0, 0, 0. Can I write it like this? What I mean alpha into v1, actually the v2, plus beta into v1 equal to 0. Take a linear combination this kunte result is 0 chindi. Ikada alpha which is 1, beta which is 1. In case nana alpha, beta, rendu 0 this kuna angkondi, linear combination 0 is nana, that's not interesting yen leithu. Kani kada interesting thing yen nante, constants anni 0 avak poyna, linear combination matam 0 avakthundi. And ikada alpha, beta, rendu 0 aitha kaadu, ikada alpha anni the non-zero, beta is 0. So the combination is giving you 0. Even though not all scalars are zeros, it is possible when the set is linearly dependent. Linearly dependent case la matra mein ilant combination ho galu thandi. Okay, to understand this better, let us look at the this example. This set is linearly dependent. Now I would like to see: Is it possible to create a linear combination so that the result is zero but not all scalars are zeros. Then I am alpha 1 into v1 plus alpha 2 into v2. E rendit ni combine just na zero kaval and zero vector raval. Condition and alpha 1 or alpha 2. Either ok to non zero on the lay than to rendu non zero on the fine. E case law possible out on the lay they could verify jet them. Alpha 1, 1 must be 0 and alpha alpha 2 must be 0. 
లీనియర్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ కేసులో ఇట్లా అవుతుందండి ఒకవేళ వెక్టార్స్ అన్ని లీనియర్లీ ఇండిపెండెంట్ అయితే లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్ జీరో అయిందంటే స్కాలర్స్ అన్ని జీరోస్ అవ్వాల్సింది బట్ ఇఫ్ ద సెట్ ఈస్ లీనియర్లీ డిపెండెంట్ వీ కెన్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఎ లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో బట్ నాట్ ఆల్ స్కాలర్స్ ఆర్ జీరోస్ ఓకే నౌ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టేక్ దిస్ దిస్ వన్ యాజ్ అ డెఫినేషన్ ఫర్ లీనియర్ డిపెండెన్స్ for independence in terms of this combination okay now let me give you the definition of linear dependence now a subset of a vector space is said to be linearly dependent and let me write that set so a subset is said to be linearly dependent if there exists a linear combination which is zero but not all scalars are zero if there exist scalars alpha 1 alpha 2 and so on alpha n such that alpha 1 into v1 plus alpha 2 into v2 plus and so on alpha and vn equal to 0 but not all scalars are 0 not all alpha i's not all alpha i's are 0 okay and then another one and a the oka alpha i and a non-zero out to me now this is the definition for linearly dependent set now let me write the definition for linearly independent set let me simply write if you take s equal to v1 v2 and so on vn and this is said to be linearly independent if alpha 1 into v1 plus alpha 2 into v2 plus and so on plus alpha n into vn if this is equal to 0 then okay well, linearly dependent ayind ankonde linear combination zero ayi not all alpha a sir zero ante edo oka alpha ayina non zero dorukutundi manaki kan independent case lo em avali linear combination zero aithe kachithanga scalars anni zero avvalsindi so if the linear combination is zero then alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to and so on this equal to alpha n must be equal to 0 okay now to check whether a set is linearly independent or dependent this is the definition we make use the man actually gain just on the linear combination this could then is zero key quit just on okay well any alpha is zero zero south and ocean and condi linear independent and conclude just on but if you are able to find at least one alpha which is non-zero then we say that it is linearly dependent okay now let me answer this question with this definition this one so let me change the question here prove that this s is linearly dependent mir linear dependence prove cheyalane independent independence prove cheyalane okate and linear combination theesukondi so let alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 uh, i'd like to deal with x y z okay okay x already undi so let me take alpha beta gamma at alpha beta gamma belongs to real numbers okay now you start with alpha into v1 plus alpha into v2 beta into v2 plus gamma into v3 equal to zero zero it means zero polynomial here this is a zero vector okay 
now let's write alpha into 1 minus x plus beta into 1 plus x square plus gamma into uh, 3 plus 2x square minus x equal to 0. 0 it means 0 plus 0x plus 0x square. Okay. Now you see what are the constant terms here. The constant term is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus the coefficient of x which is minus alpha plus minus gamma into x plus the coefficient of x square uh, there is no alpha so beta yeah 3 gamma yeah here it is 3 gamma thank you and now this is beta yeah 3 gamma beta plus 2 gamma into x square right so this must be equal to 0 plus 0 x plus 0 x square now we are saying two polynomials are equal. So now let us compare the coefficients. So if you compare coefficients, alpha plus beta plus uh, 3 gamma, the constant term there is 0 only, and minus alpha minus gamma equal to 0, and beta plus 2 gamma, which equal to 0. OK. Now in the last equation, I'm finding beta and gamma, right? So let me solve these two. I mean, from these two uh, equations, let me eliminate alpha. I mean, you add these two equations. So if you add it, you'll get beta plus 2 gamma equal to 0. So what we have done here is we added two equations. So adding two equations, I can find that beta plus 2 gamma equal to 0. Oh, and the third third expression is also the same thing. Beta plus 2 gamma equal to 0. All right. So from this, it says beta must be equal to minus 2 gamma. Now substitute this beta. And why to substitute? From the second, ex from the second equation, uh, so from here, let me write from this equation, I can say alpha equal to minus gamma. Because that one can be rewritten as alpha plus gamma equal to zero. Therefore, alpha equal to minus gamma. Now, if you observe that we got alpha in terms of gamma, and beta in terms of gamma. But what is gamma here? We don't have any condition on gamma, right? Therefore, we can take gamma to be any real number. Because there is no condition on gamma. So if you pick up a gamma belongs to any real number set, right? Then you can you can have alpha and beta. For example, uh, if, if I take alpha gamma equal to 1, if gamma is 1. From this, what is alpha? Alpha must be minus 1. Beta must be minus 2. It means it says that alpha into V1 plus beta into V2 plus gamma into V3. This is equal to a 0 polynomial where alpha, beta, gamma are given by minus, uh, minus 1 in, and beta is minus 2 and gamma is 1. Now it is enough, no. It is enough to say that this set is linearly dependent. Why? Because we found a linear combination that is equal to 0, but not all scalars are 0. Actually, and then the a scalar non-zero is going to be interesting thing is that it is 0. Meeting Kokata Anochu, sir, Nenokala gamma zero this conte, gamma zero this conte, alpha zero stundi, beta coda zero stundi, sir, Anochu. Can I adokat a solution Kadaka then? But zero 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 is always a solution. Adandrekatelsu. Can I get a mano find out chals in the anti 
నాన్ జీరో సొల్యూషన్ ఉందా లేదా అంటే ఈ సిస్టమ్ కి జీరో సొల్యూషన్ తో పాటు నాన్ జీరో సొల్యూషన్ కూడా ఉంది వన్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ సచ్ సొల్యూషన్ ఇస్ దిస్ మైనస్ వన్ మైనస్ టూ వన్ దిస్ సిస్టమ్ హ్యాస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ఫైనెట్లీ మెనీ సొల్యూషన్స్ నాట్ జస్ట్ వన్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఐ కెన్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఇన్ఫైనెట్లీ మెనీ లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో వేర్ నాట్ ఆల్ స్కాలర్స్ ఆర్ జీరో అంటే ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మీరు గామా వన్ తీసుకున్నారు అండి ఇప్పుడు నేను ఏం చేస్తా అంటే గామా ఈక్వల్ టు టూ తీసుకుంటా ఇఫ్ గామా ఇస్ టూ ఆల్ఫా మస్ బి మైనస్ టూ అండ్ బీటా మస్ బి మైనస్ ఫోర్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ దట్ దిస్ ఈస్ సేమ్ యాజ్ మల్టీప్లైయింగ్ దిస్ లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్ విత్ టూ యూ ట్రై టు అబ్జర్వ్ దీనికి టూ టా మల్టీప్లై చేస్తే ఆల్ఫా మైనస్ టూ అవుతుంది బీటా వచ్చేసి మైనస్ ఫోర్ గామా వచ్చేసి టూ అలా కదా నేను నేను గామా ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ బై త్రీ తీసుకుంటా అన్నారు అనుకోండి తీసుకోండి దెన్ ఆల్ఫా ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ బై త్రీ అండ్ బీటా ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ టూ బై త్రీ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఏం చేస్తున్నారు ఈ కాంబినేషన్ యాక్చువల్గా వన్ బై త్రీతో మల్టీప్లై చేస్తున్నారు దీన్ని వన్ బై త్రీతో మల్టీప్లై చేశారు అనుకోండి ఆల్ఫా ఏమవుతుంది మైనస్ వన్ బై త్రీ బీటా మైనస్ టూ బై త్రీ గామా మైనస్ వన్ బై త్రీ ప్లస్ వన్ బై త్రీ so therefore uh, uh, let, let me write what, what can be alpha beta gamma so you try to take take any alpha beta gamma such that beta equal to minus 2 gamma and alpha equal to minus gamma in other words in other words this set alpha beta gamma must be equal to this minus gamma minus 2 gamma and uh, gamma that's it we got infinitely many such combinations for which the combination is zero but not all scalars are zeros actually nen nen etla teeskunnanu and ee set ni one times this plus two times this equal to this one అంటే ఈ ఫస్ట్ దాన్ని వన్ తో మల్టీప్లై చేసి సెకండ్ దాన్ని టూ తో మల్టీప్లై చేసి యాడ్ చేస్తే రిజల్ట్ ఇది వస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు ఈవిడ కానీ మీరు ఇటువైపు తీసుకెళ్ళారు అనుకోండి అంటే ఇది కాంబినేషన్ జీరో చేయాలంటే మైనస్ వన్ అవుతుంది వన్ టూ మైనస్ వన్ అదేగా మీకు వచ్చింది వన్ టూ మైనస్ వన్ అంటే దీన్ని మైనస్ తో మల్టీప్లై చేయండి ఇది ప్లస్ వన్ అవుతుంది ఇది టూ అవుతుంది ఇది మైనస్ వన్ అవుతుంది అండ్ హియర్ యూ హ్యావ్ మల్టిపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ వన్ టూ మైనస్ వన్ దట్స్ ఇట్ the solution set is nothing but multiples of 1 2 minus 1 that's it okay so this is how you need to prove a set is linearly dependent linearly independent kuda ante and linearly independent ante em prove cheyali ee alpha beta gamma compulsory zero maatrame avvalam prove cheyali okay let me go with one one uh, example let me take s is equal to 1 2 0 1 3 1 2 let me have many zeros 0 0 1 0 here 0 here 1 here 2 here yeah now my question is is it linearly dependent or independent Uh, this is a subset of 2 by 2 by 2 matrices sir m to r okay now my question is is this set linearly dependent or independent en chestaru linear combination iskondi alpha into first uh, matrix let me name it as v1 v2 v3 so alpha into v1 plus beta into v2 plus gamma into v3 equal to 0 okay now alpha into first matrix i hope you know how what it is alpha into first matrix will give you alpha 2 alpha 0 alpha plus beta into second matrix 3 beta 0 0 beta plus gamma into the next matrix 0 0 gamma 2 gamma and this must be equal to 
zero vector zero vector in this uh, in this vector space is nothing but zero matrix now you know how to add matrices and you know how to equate two matrices right so let me equate it component wise so if i equate component wise i can see alpha plus 3 beta plus 0 equal to 0 so i compared first component okay you are getting alpha beta gamma must be 0 that is the only solution right good so let me let me write the second equation that is 2 alpha plus 0 into beta plus 0 into gamma equal to 0. Now the second equation tells us alpha must be 0. Okay, we we, are, we have beta and gamma. Let me see. How about beta and gamma? So from the if you if you look at the third element, that is 0 plus 0 plus gamma equal to 0. Now, this directly tells you that gamma must be 0. Incognitum then, the fourth one. That is alpha plus beta plus 2 gamma equal to 0. We already get alpha 0, gamma 0. Now, we can substitute 0 plus beta plus 2 into 0 equal to 0. So, from this, beta equal to 0. That's it. Now, if you observe that this linear system has only one solution, that is 0, 0, 0. And then we can get a linear combination 0 of all and then we alpha scalar sun is 0 of all. Right? So, therefore, what is the conclusion? So, the conclusion is S is linearly independent. Yeah, good. Okay. So this is how you can verify whether a set is linearly independent or not. Now we are going to see a beautiful thing. So we came to know what is linear span. We came to know what is linear span and we know what is a linearly independent set. And similarly, we came to know what is a linearly dependent set also, LD. Now, uh, the linear span, yeah. Ah, just a bit. Alpha plus beta plus 2 gamma equal to 0. Okay, Amma. The question is clear, Gandhi. Okay, could I have one question such as, sir, just all scalars equal to zero, I think, linearly independent and fix our lemma. Then, if, if only possible solution is alpha equal to zero, then only you can say it is independent. Zero, zero, you put a solution out on the end. You put interesting thing and then non-zero solution on the leather. Okay, well, lack of both, then you say it is independent. Okay, non-zero solution on the end, you can't say it is independent. And here we, we actually need to talk about uh, uh, solving system of linear equations. And I mean, PUC already 2 by 2, 3 by 3 chase on the Gauss Jordan uh, elimination process. Did you see that? Eclon form. Eclon form with the problem chase around. Matrix ne reduced Eclon form la convert chase linear system to solve jero. My work on a chestnut idea on the Saleda. Previous sum lo kuda all scalar zero kada, sir. Previous sum and the edama Ikada Miradi Dena, one minus x, one plus x square. Okay. Can not a non zero solution of Chinagada Ikada. In an age of the Nante, mere first element one to multiply Chandi, second element ni two to multiply Jesse, third element ni minus one to multiply Jesse, zero Chinaku, combination zero in the Alagi, Miri Kadanaku, a possibility of a Galra. You could occur three matrices this Kunangala, it three matrices of the Ledon. Simplest case discussion that is. Uh, 
వన్ జీరో జీరో వన్ ఇప్పుడు మీకు టూ వెక్టర్స్ ఇచ్చాయండి ఒకటేమో ఎక్స్ యాక్సెస్ మీద ఉంది వన్ జీరో ఇంకొకటి వై యాక్సెస్ మీద ఉంది జీరో వన్ ఈ రెండింటిని జీరో కమా జీరోతో కాకుండా వేరే ఆల్ఫా కమా బీటా ఏదో ఒకటి నాన్ జీరో అయితే సరిపోతుంది రెండో అవసరం లేదు కెన్ యూ గీ మీ ఆల్ఫా కామా బీటా ఇన్ సచ్ ఏ వే దట్ ఆల్ఫా ఇన్ టు వి వన్ ప్లస్ బీటా ఇన్ టు వి టూ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఒక్క ఒక్క కాన్స్టెంట్ అన్న నాన్ జీరో అవ్వాలి ఒక్క కాన్స్టెంట్ అన్న నాన్ జీరో అయ్యేటట్టు ఈ కాంబినేషన్ కూడా జీరో అయ్యేటట్టు నాకు ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కావాలండి ఆల్ఫా బీటాలు ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయగలరా ఆల్ఫా బీటాలు జీరో వేస్తే ఆబ్వియస్ గా జీరో అవుతుంది అంటే జీరో ఎప్పుడు సొల్యూషన్ అవుతుంది దీనికి కానీ ఇక్కడ మనం వెతికేది ఏంటంటే ఆల్ఫా బీటాలు నాన్ జీరో దొరుకుతాయో లేవా ఒకవేళ దొరికింది అనుకోండి లీనియర్లీ డిపెండెంట్ అంటావు ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో ఆల్ఫా బీటా అంటే జీరో కామా జీరో కాకుండా వేరే ఏం దొరకకపోయినా సరే మనం అది ఇండిపెండెంట్ అని చెప్తాం ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ మీకు అది కాంబినేషన్ జీరో అవ్వాలంటే ఖచ్చితంగా ఆల్ఫా బీటాలు జీరో అవ్వాల్సిందే వేరే ఏ నాన్ జీరో ఆల్ఫా బీటాకి కూడా ఇది జీరో అవ్వదు బట్ ఇక్కడ ఈ సిచ్యువేషన్ లో ఏంటి పొలినామల్ సిచ్యువేషన్ లో ఐఎమ్ ఏబుల్ టు గివ్ యూ ఆల్ఫా బీటా గామా దాంట్లో ఒకటైనా నాన్ జీరో ఉంది ఒకటి కాదు యాక్చువల్గా అన్ని నాన్ జీరో ఇస్తుంది నేను ఆల్ఫా నాన్ జీరో కాదు బీటా నాన్ జీరో కాదు గామా నాన్ జీరో కాదు కానీ వాటిని కాంబినేషన్ తీసుకుంటే జీరో అవుతుంది ఈజ్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ అఖిల్ అర్థమైందా లీనియర్ డిపెండెన్స్ కి ఇండిపెండెన్స్ కి డిఫరెన్స్ లీనియర్ స్పాన్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బెక్టర్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ వీ మీన్ బై లీనియర్ స్పాన్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ దీన్ని ఎట్లా రాస్తా ఉండే ఆల్ఫా వన్ ఇంటూ వి వన్ ప్లస్ ఆల్ఫా టూ ఇంటూ వి టూ ప్లస్ ఆల్ఫా త్రీ ఇంటూ వి త్రీ వేర్ ఆల్ఫా బిలాంగ్స్ టు రియల్ నంబర్స్ this is what we call linear span and previous lecture la manam prove chesam ee linear span anedi vector space avutundi you take any two elements from this linear span and you add it again the result will be here and even if you multiply an element here with a constant again that result will be here in this linear combination so we proved that this is a vector space moreover this linear span gives you a vector space and that vector space is called vector space generated by the vectors v1 v2 v3 so this is the vector space generated by v1 v2 v3 okay, okay let, let us look at uh, some examples here we already discussed but i'd like to just give few more 100 0 comma 0 comma 1 so i am taking two vectors in r3 this is a subset of r3 can you tell me what is the vector space generated by these two vectors adi geometrical ga oka object object ante me nak cheppochu xz plane very good so this gives you xz plane why because you can see the linear span of s is nothing but set of all alpha 1 into 100 plus alpha 1 and direct alpha beta this contact beta into 001 alpha beta belongs to real numbers right amma ikkada alpha beta ane kada meer x comma y kuda theesukochu okay so now this is equal to alpha comma 0 comma 0 plus 0 0 beta and you know how to add them so let me add it so the addition is alpha 0 beta such that alpha comma beta belongs to real numbers now if you look at this set in this set we came to know y is always 0 okay 
So if you go to three dimensional space, there if you see the thing where y equal to zero, that represents xz plane. Because you have x, x can be any real number, z can be any real number, and y is always zero. So these two elements are generating xz plane. So therefore, let me conclude here. Yes, generates the set S generates the XZ plane. Next, let's look at one more. Uh, this time, let me use B, B equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is a subset of R3. Okay. Now I'd like to see what is the linear span of B. It means what is the vector space generated by these three vectors? Very good. Entire R3. Because you can see the linear combination is nothing but I'm like direct cross an alpha into first element plus beta into second element plus gamma into third element will give you this where alpha beta gamma are coming from real real life now every element in r3 this is how we represent okay so this set is exactly equal to r3 therefore linear span of b is nothing but r3 Okay, so now I can say that this set generates entire R3. And we are going to give name for this set. We are going to call this set as a basis set. Because it generates entire R3. And I'm going to call this set as a basis set. But the definition of basis set is not just uh, linear, linear span. You have one more condition. So if you can find a smallest possible set, which generates the entire vector space, that set is called basis set of the vector space. Try to understand basis set is nothing but smallest possible set, which generates the entire vector space. So you the smallest possible ante anti saranar me rada gochu. Enok panya istham, ikada gok example istham. From that you can understand. Now let me take s equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 0, and next 1, 1, 0. Can you tell me what is the linear span of uh, this set s? What is the linear span of this? R2 unknown clear than in the subset of R3 gather. And R3 low is the A set nist no Japan. I mean, idea correctly the plane is the plane is generated chest in the plane in R3 low. Admit Japan. So now here this is not it is okay. Alpha plus gamma, uh, beta plus gamma. Idega me coach and zero. Where alpha, beta, gamma are coming from real number set. Now I'm going. I'd like to rewrite this set. You are saying alpha, beta, gamma are coming from real numbers. Then definitely alpha plus beta is a new real number. Beta plus gamma is a new real number, and there is no relation between them. And then if this zero, this could not come. This second element, that we have to beta is arbitrary. Ikkada gamma onna padiki, beta onna So e is arbitrary. And ikkada one koda this kochu. And then in gamma gamma ni zero can assume just zero plus zero, one plus one. Alaga sir miru one comma two. And gamma one then gamma one fix chesa. Kani ikkada naku total element two kawali. Okay, no problem. Then alpha and zero this kunta. Okay. Beat the Nella Rasta and one plus one grass and take a beta one 
alpha 0, gamma is 1. And the first element alpha plus gamma. Edo mere edo okti is kunar. Second element, first element mere idha depend hai ledu. That's what that's what I'd like to say. So let me take um, alpha plus gamma equal to x. That is a real number. Okay. And similarly, beta plus gamma. Let me assume that is y. This x and y are independent. There is no relation. So let me rewrite. This is x comma y comma zero. where x comma y are belongs to real numbers now you can exactly see what is this plane what is this plane yeah, x y plane so therefore these three vectors are generating x y plane so the linear span of s So linear span of S is nothing but X, Y plane. Okay. You put X, Y plane, go to subspace, I got a vector space. I got a linear span is always a vector space. So definitely X, X, Y plane is a vector space. No doubt in it. It is a plane passing through origin. Now X, Y plane vector space. Now I would like to see its basis set. It means the smallest set which generates the X, Y plane. Now, is S a smallest set that generates X, Y plane? And I mean, uh, X, Y plane generate channel and I catch the three elements on the other And the other two elements to go to X, Y plane generate channel. Is my question clear? Is it compulsory to have three elements to generate X, Y plane? No. Okay. Then if, if not, no. If the answer is no, you are saying that you can generate X, Y plane with two elements. Can you give me those two elements? R3 lo one comma zero comma zero. And zero comma one comma zero. Actually, these these two these two are enough to generate x y plane. But it could actually get the extra burden monkey. And they can the third element to now okay, lack by no okay. But here you try to see this set is going to be linearly dependent. The, the set here is linearly dependent. Why? Because this third element is obtained by adding first two elements. Let me name it as S1 and the other set, let me name this as S2. Here, if you observe that S1 generates XY plane, S1 generates XY plane. Similarly, S2 also generates XY plane. But we always prefer to carry the smallest sets. But how do you come to know whether that set is the smallest set? And you put an idea question. Three elements are put there, compulsory three elements undala and can't a one adiga. Ikramir Chodach Kavati direct ka Jepesner, fine. But in general, how do you check? How do you come to know that that is the smallest set? It could actually aim in the sir. Okay, element to Mikita and elements panel depend on the antenna key set low e element to now okate, lack by now okate. Together. With the linearly dependent set. Linearly dependent set, it means there is always some guy who depends on others. Why to carry that guy? Right? Because having the remaining guys is same as having that guy. Only special guy in this color. So you better eliminate that person who depends on others. So my S1 launch is not a good thing. You eliminate any one of one of uh, I mean one vector from S1. Okay, then that set becomes linearly independent. See the difference between S1 and S2 is S1, this is linearly dependent. S1 is linearly dependent, whereas S2 is linearly independent. 
okay now if you want to say some set is a basis of a vector space so that must be linearly independent set the moment you say it is linearly independent you are saying that there is no vector in that set who depends on others and in any extra like this and it chapter and moreover these vectors are enough to generate the vector space okay now let me write the definition of basis now basis set a subset let b equal to v1 v2 and so on vn a finite set definition ras nama than mere infinite set kuda teesukochu okay ledu nenu elements tho rayanu direct subset an teesukunta let b be a subset of v where v over f is a vector space okay let me make it precise let v over f be a vector space and it is given that b is a subset of v b is a subset of v b is said to be basis of a vector space basis of v or f the vector space if one thing it has to span the entire vector space that is linear span of b must be equal to v the vector space and the second condition that set must be the smallest set it means that set must be linearly independent and extra like a one could b is linearly independent Is it clear? Let me read in Kola Kura Rai Chandi. L of S equal to B and Rai Kunda, Miru Akadela S generates S generates V and S is linearly independent. Not S, B. B generates V and B is linearly independent. Any question? Okay. Now the question is how many basis set we can have? And we have a vector space. 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 An example, let us, let us think about R2 only. So let me take my vector space is this v equal to r2 over r and the field is uh, real numbers only. Now I'd like to see what are the basis of r2. Basis set of r2. What is the basis set, sir? Can I take, can I take this one as a basis set? 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1. Is it linearly independent first of all? We already proved this one is linearly independent. Okay. And we already proved that this spans the entire vector space. And I R to low A element this kuna sare, it ended to a linear combination of Rayachu. And x comma y this kuna run kondi. At la rastaru x into 1 comma 0 plus y into 0 comma 1 that's it and these two directions you use chase in your r2 plane like a kind of move over to a point they can move out right so therefore this spans r2 so let me write here this is linearly independent moreover it spans r2 so therefore it is a basis set And this has a name. This is called standard basis of R2. So let me let me uh, mention here one comma zero and zero comma one. This is this is standard basis of
All right. So this is a standard basis of R2. You can standard basis and not go basis or not together. All right. So let me give you one more example of basis set here. So another basis of R2. If you take B equal to one comma one, one comma minus one. We can prove that this is a basis set of R2. Okay. So let us all let us uh, do it as a problem. So the question is prove that b equal to one comma one and one comma minus one is a basis of R2. So basis on proof jail under two conditions proof jail first two. Okay, linearly independent to and in Gokati is the entire R2 in span just in Japan. Okay. So first is linearly independent cause of juice and let us spanning juice now. Okay, anything is fine. Okay. So first let me check linearly independence of this set. Just one minute. Okay, let us go for linearly independent first. So to prove it, you take a linear combination that is alpha into one comma one plus beta into one comma minus one, equate it to zero zero. If you can prove that alpha beta equal to zero, it is only the solution. Then we are done. It is linearly independent. So. Let me write here alpha plus beta, alpha minus beta, that equal to zero comma zero. So alpha plus beta must be zero, and alpha minus beta must be zero. Geometrically, also you can see this. X plus uh, x plus y equal to zero. Uh, that is the line. So let me draw the axis first. Right. So alpha plus beta equal to zero, and that line you can see it like this. And alpha minus beta equal to zero, you can see the other line like this. All right. Now the intersection of these two lines is only one point. That is zero comma zero. It means this linear system has one solution. That solution is alpha equal to zero, beta equal to zero. So let me write this linear system has unique solution and have you studied this property if you have a linear system that is a into x equal to zero it has unique solution if and only if determinant of a not equal to zero if you use a choose a condition, a homogeneous linear system, this the it can have unique solution when the determinant is non-zero, and it is going to have infinitely many solutions when the determinant is zero. Ave lana chapa chandi, ikad mirila raichi one 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 minus one alpha beta equal to zero zero. You can see the determinant of this quotient matrix is uh, zero, sorry, non-zero. It means this matrix is invertible. When it is invertible, you know the solution can be given by a inverse into the zero vector. So that is zero vector itself. Therefore, the unique solution is zero comma zero only. Okay, so unique solution that is zero comma zero. Therefore, what is the conclusion? B is linearly independent. So we are done with one condition, independent and chosen. And to prove it is a it is a basis set, it is enough to prove that it spans entire R two. At a span, you don't change sir. A vector space lo mir a vector this kuna sir adi. We take a linear combination ka raigalite. We say it spans. 
Do you take any x comma y arbitrarily? You try to that x comma y, uh, try to write that x comma y as a linear combination of these two. Possible line on Kondi, we say it spans. Possible Kakpot, it doesn't span. So let us see whether it is possible or not. Now let me check the second one that is spanning. So let uh, x comma y be a real number, sorry, an element in R2. Now, is it possible to express this x comma y as a combination of these two? That is the question. That is alpha into 1 comma 1 plus beta into 1 comma minus 1. Okay, so let us let us solve for it. x comma y equal to alpha plus beta and this is alpha minus beta. Now you rewrite this alpha plus beta equal to x alpha minus beta equal to y you know how to solve this you just add it you'll get 2 alpha equal to x plus y when you add these two so from this you'll get alpha equal to x plus y by 2 all right now how about beta you just subtract so similarly you can find beta now beta equal to x minus y by 2 i hope you can see that And this is the only solution. Ledu meru the linear system ga ras hai na. I mean, matrices lo convert che sa na meru solution this kuch. This is a matrix A multiplied with x equal to some y. Now x equal to A inverse into y. That is the solution. Alpha beta equal to x y. So if you want alpha beta, you just multiply with A inverse on both sides. If you multiply with A inverse on both sides, you can see alpha is x plus y by 2, beta is x minus y by 2. Okay. Now we are able to find alpha comma beta, right? So it means we can express this x comma y as a linear combination of these two vectors. So let me write it here. Therefore, x comma y can be expressed as alpha that is x plus y by 2 into 1 comma 1 plus beta which is x minus y by 2 into 1 comma minus 1 that's it. we are able to express every element in r2 as a combination of these two it means it spans the entire r2 okay let us see with elements then it is good for example sir you know uh, 3 comma 7 e element ni 1 comma 1 1 comma minus 1 we have a linear combination ga rayal anukuntunnaru sir i raddam possible ikkada x place lo 3 iskunna ni y place lo 7 iskunna kabatti alpha em avali x plus y by 2 and 3 plus 7 by 2 that is uh, uh, 10 by 2 which is 5 and 5 times of 1 comma 1 plus uh, beta em avali 3 minus 7 that is minus 4 minus 4 by 2 minus 2 so minus 2 times of 1 comma minus 1 verify jay and osun na idha ucche si 5 comma 5 uh, plus minus 2 comma plus 2 you can see that 5 minus 2 that is 3 and 5 plus 2 7 yes i am able to express 3 comma 7 as a combination of these two not only 3 comma 7 you start with any number for example if you want to write root 2 comma uh, 5 if you want to write root 2 comma 5 then yes it is possible x plus y is nothing but root 2 plus root root 5 by 2 it is a real number okay into 1 comma 1 plus root 2 minus root 5 by 2 into 1 comma minus 1. okay so we are able to express every element in R2 as a combination of these two. So therefore, we can conclude that B spans entire R2. So therefore, the conclusion is this B spans R2. Or the same thing you can write linear span of B equal to
so we 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 have seen that the set is linearly independent and moreover it it spans uh, the entire vector space so therefore what is the conclusion therefore the conclusion is b is a basis basis of what b is a basis of r2 a b into r2 is better here so here b equal to 1 comma 1 and 1 comma minus 1 right so at last you can write your favorite statement what is that favorite statement hence proved <laughs> because the question is to prove right all right ah uh, yeah question on the sorry it out we know 1 comma 0 0 comma 1 is a basis of r2 right why can't k comma 0 0 comma k be a basis for all k belongs to r yes if 1 comma 0 0 comma 1 basis and 2 comma 0 0 comma 2 got a basis at mir k kadu mir 2 comma 0 0 comma 3 this kundi adi koda basis hai. because that set is linearly independent and you can prove that that set is uh, spans r2 entire entire vector space so put r2 ki waka basis at ledu there are infinitely many basis sets for r2 but the interesting fact is any basis set of r2 will contain only two elements not only for R2, this statement is true for any vector space. Any two basis set of a vector space will contain the same number of elements. Okay, there is a there is an interesting result here. Any two basis of a vector space have same number of elements. I'm saying same number of elements, not the same elements. It means the number of elements in the basis set is unique. And that unique number, we are going to take it as dimension of the vector space. Basis set law, two elements on the two dimensional under R3, two, two dimensional in the country, because you can generate entire R2 with just two elements. R3 is three dimension because you can generate it with three elements. That basis set will contain three elements. Okay. Similarly, if you take set of all polynomials of degree degree two, if P two this kuna run kundi. P two ante element allowed to the a plus b x plus c x square. If you look at the basis set of uh, P two, one x x square. And a one polynomial x polynomial x square got a polynomial. E Three elements in use chess in an entire P2 in a generate chair. You can see that this linear span, linear span of B is P2. And uh, and moreover, this B is linearly independent. So therefore, this B is a basis of uh, basis of uh, P2. Therefore, what is the dimension? Dimension simply get a rastan DIM dimension of P2. How many number of elements are there in a basis set? And manu dimension matlated up to field and very, very, very important. Kept and go. What is the dimension of P2? Someone responds so that I'll stop the class. Make P2 basis set each channel. Dimension and a number of elements in the basis set and Japano. So, what is the dimension of P2? What is it? Ah, basis set dimension Japan. Vector space ke dimension Japan. But uh, 2 1 in the country, degree 2 1. Huh? Basis set law any elements on the end. You basis set already make a screen pine and compass in the. The basis set standard basis of, of P2 is this 1 comma x comma x square. You can end elements on the three elements on nine. Yeah, therefore the dimension of P2 is three. 
నేను యాక్చువల్గా లేదంటే ఇలా అయినా చూడొచ్చండి ఆర్ పి టూ అండ్ ఆర్ త్రీ దీస్ ఆర్ ఐడెంటికల్ ఎందుకంటే ఎవ్రీ సెకండ్ డిగ్రీ పాలినామే మనం ఒక ఆర్ త్రీలో ఎలిమెంట్గా రిప్రజెంట్ చేయొచ్చు అంటే కాన్స్టెంట్ టర్మ్ ని ఎక్స్ కాంపొనెంట్ గా తీసుకుంటా కోఫిషియంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ని వై కాంపొనెంట్ కోఫిషియంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ని జెడ్ కాంపొనెంట్ అంటే పాలినామల్ ఆఫ్ డిగ్రీ టూ ఈస్ లైక్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ పాలినామల్ డిగ్రీ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ దట్ ఈస్ ఎ త్రీ డైమెన్షనల్ వెక్టర్ స్పేస్ నాట్ టూ డైమెన్షన్ Similarly, if you look at dimension of uh, dimension of Pn, set off all polynomials of degree less than or equal to n. Yeah, n plus 1, correct. This is polynomials. But R2 is not the dimension of R2. R2 is not the dimension of R2. N plus 1. Now, the last question. ఇప్పుడు సెట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ టూ బై టూ మ్యాట్రసెస్ తీసుకుంటే దాని డైమెన్షన్ చెప్తారా నాకు ఏబిసిడి సచ్ దట్ ఏబిసిడి బిలాంగ్స్ టు రియల్ నెంబర్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డైమెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ టూ బై టూ మ్యాట్రసెస్ వన్ ఆర్ వన్ ఎందుకు అవుతుంది అంటే ఒక మ్యాట్రిక్స్ ఇస్తే ఆ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ తో అంటే మీరు ఎలాంటి మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అయినా ఇచ్చేస్తా అంటున్నారు పాసిబుల్ అవ్వదు కదండి యా ఫోర్ ఈస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ సింపుల్ గా చెప్పాలంటే ఒక మ్యాట్రిక్స్ మీరు ఒక మ్యాట్రిక్స్ టూ బై టూ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ రాయాలంటే ఫోర్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ కూడా ఏంటో తెలియాలి అంటే ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ తెలిస్తే సెకండ్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఏదో మనకు తెలియదు కదా అది ఖచ్చితంగా తెలియాలి రైట్ ఇప్పుడు ఆర్ టూ లో ఎలిమెంట్ రాయాలనుకోండి ఎక్స్ అండ్ వై అక్కడ టూ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి డైమెన్షన్ టూ అంటున్నారు అలాగే ఆర్ త్రీలో ఎక్స్ వై జెడ్ అలా కాకుండా ఎక్స్ వై ఎక్స్ వై ప్లేన్ ఎక్స్ వై ప్లేన్ కానీ లేదంటే ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు వై ప్లేన్ తీసుకున్నాం అనుకోండి ఆర్ త్రీలో అది ఎట్లా రాస్తాం ఎక్స్ కామా ఎక్స్ కామా జెడ్ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ ద ప్లేన్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు వై సో ఇప్పుడు దీని డైమెన్షన్ అడిగానంటే నేను టూ అని చెప్తా ఎందుకంటే నాకు ఎక్స్ అండ్ జెడ్ ఏంటో చెప్పండి నేను ఆ వెక్టార్ ని నేను లొకేట్ చేయగలను ఇప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ కాంపనెంట్ వన్ అన్నారు అనుకోండి సెకండ్ కాంపనెంట్ కూడా వన్ అవ్వాలి ఈ ప్లేన్ పైన థర్డ్ కాంపనెంట్ నేను ఏదైనా తీసుకోవచ్చు అంటే ఈ ఎలిమెంట్ రాయాలంటే రెండు ఎలిమెంట్స్ తెలిస్తే చాలండి ఎక్స్ అండ్ జెడ్ సిమిలర్లీ టు రైట్ అ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు నో ఆల్ దీస్ ఫోర్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ అట్ ద బేసిస్ సెట్ ద బేసిస్ సెట్ విల్ కంటైన్ దీస్ మ్యాట్రసెస్ ఎనీ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ ఎనీ టూ బై టూ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ కెన్ బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ అ లీనియర్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ these matrices these are the four matrices which gives you the basis of m2 you can check this set is linearly independent and moreover it is a base it, it spans an entire m2 okay so therefore dimension of m2 r or field of real numbers is 4 okay just one last question what is the dimension of set of all 2 by 2 symmetric matrices a belongs to m to r such that a transpose equal to a ever basis kuda kadu n elements kavali oka symmetric matrix construct cheyalante a cheppan chalu how many 3 correct because if you take a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix this is how it should lo- it should look like if the first element is a and the second element is b the third element i mean 1 1 element you can take any but 1 2 element and 2 1 element must be equal and ikkada meer edaithe rasara adhe as it is ikkada rayali transpose equal avvalante and d right d and then mali c na diskuntu ikkada right so to construct a symmetric matrix it is enough to know three elements in it. i mean three components a b c first component enti second component enti fourth component ento cheppandi third component naaku etla ga telusu it is same as the second component if you look at the basis set of uh, set of all symmetric matrices it is the basis set 1 0 0 0 
zero one one zero 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 one that's it these are the three elements in the basis set so dimension of set of all uh, uh, two by two symmetric matrices is three or like a three by three symmetric matrices ke dimension name out no standard basis set kodam irayagal ru okay similarly think about different vector spaces also okay so with this i'll stop and let me know if you have any questions or doubts